personally. I, I'm, I'm honestly excited for this next one. Everyone's absolutely going lit in chat. Love y'all. Absolutely. Take a shout out once again to Pig Bay for the post game analysis, keeping everything intact as I can't <laughs> and such. Go check out his channel. And of course, my channel, I, I put up videos five times a week. Of course, this week was seven times a week because Pig Bay gave me an awesome pick on stream. I, 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 I blame him. Okay. I blame him for having to watch an extra video. Oh, you talking about the Minotaur game? Yeah. <laughs> I mean,. I'm a sucker for a good, a good Minotaur player, man. I love that boat. Nope. Oh. Swap out for them. Make sure I'm doing that. All right. So, of course, we are actually in the next game. Um, just waiting for setups to happen, but I think we can change over early. We do have straight domination on this. And such, uh, we do have a few random picks with the Alexander Nevsky coming on into play, along with a Kaga, <laughs> which is not legal. <laughs> so, can we say that Yoho is going to be the underdog in this one? Are they the underdogs <laughs> to L four? Uh, L technically they would be considered the underdogs because they are coming from the loser bracket. And such, uh, the you know, especially with L4, they completely just walked right up that entire tournament line uh, with some amazing gameplay, absolute killer action on there. So, in my opinion, technically, Yoho is the underdog. So we shall see. They are keeping what it seems to be the two-two-three layout with the Issei Flor uh, Florida and Poltava setup. So they are holding out that. But we do have up north. We have a Labrakmas, a Helena. Coming out there, still waiting for the Nedsky to leave, <laughs> and a Republic from Z Toy. We'll go with that. <laughs> no, but um, it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we got it. So we've got a three one three versus a two two three. It looks like right now on straight hmm. Hmm. let's see how this goes we're in game yep so a 313 versus a 223 let's see how this goes yoho staying an exact uh similar setup as previously where l4 changing up a little bit they, they definitely have that that strategy so let's see how this goes now in this on this map you've got three caps is the say as important let's see how this goes let's of course move around over here we've got two dds and a poltava up north against specifically a dd which is the jervis ashores and isay and a poltava so you have an overwhelming firepower down here over on the south side, we have a Florida, a Jervis, and a Belfast against a Jervis, a Belfast, a Politava, and another Politava. Okay, that overwhelming firepower. They're going to play that long con. Let's pop up. Now we see the see the, the team situations. A is getting taken by Whirly Gig. Absolutely pushing on that on that side. And no trolling in chat. Don't make me can't. Don't make you, me uh, ban you on that situation. Uh, we got lit moving towards B. This is exactly my typical strategy. Is sometimes just well, you let the enemy take one cap. It's fine. Whatever. But take the middle cap. Push on that. Get that early on. It's great. While you have over here, you have contestant at C. Not a full grab from L4 on that situation. So let's see how this goes. We do have some. Uh, just hey, you got five torps over here going towards some, and you got another five torps going over towards Felipe. I have a feeling those will connect, so it'll be an early good amount of damage from 1080. While 1080 is contesting 4B, doing a great job there. While you have an overwhelming force pushing on a Bliska Vika in Shavo with uh, Aegon from L4, that'll be very interesting to see how that goes. And see how that pans out. That's going to be a, a that's just sacrificing two players to just basically just be tanks that game. And but a Bliskavika can do its job if it wants to play with its food, and as I like to call it. So 
right here over here you got seminal covering up man of war along with 1080 running from torpedoes from lit we got over here but we got a two to one situation with l4 holding the caps you know basically rectifying their mistakes from uh from a few nights where they actually had a tough time covering that but yoho absolutely trying to use that overwhelming force pushing on b and trying to go for it this is gonna be a bit of a slugfest i'm not gonna lie we, we've got that going for us right now. I mean, this is going to be determined a little bit by accuracy, skill, and play. So, let's see how this goes. we got Man of War absolutely just straight up just dodging those tarps. Once again, this is showing, you know, you can bet on those stream of torps. Doesn't mean it's going to get the hit. Sometimes it's best to hit one or two rather than none. Up here, as we can tell, B is getting pushed on a whirly gig on lit. Over oh, Shavo absolutely doing that well. Pull top with Aegon is just holding back. Ashore's sweet cheeks with the Issei, and Strider is just moving down, absolutely just seemingly just trying to focus and help out and kill Felipe, triple GGG. Well, you do have a Belfast and Black Queen holding C. This is just right now a cap. Just hold the cap. Just keep it going. No, no, don't rush it. Don't, don't push your, don't push your luck. Yep, and of course, once again, the, the, just the dispersion torps, just send them out. Sometimes you might hit, sometimes you won't, but you wonder what you've done. It's made your enemy think, and sometimes that's more important. We've got a B switch right over to Yoho's side. Great play on their side, getting two in there. But of course, L4 absolutely pushing in, getting all their DDs, getting that three to one setup uh, absolutely in there, and just just start getting those Jervis's torps out because of how many torps they can push out along with the Bliskavika, just send them out just make those dds think and that's gonna be the main thing but of course Jervis's are are very maneuverable down over here uh again just just doing what he's doing <laughs> great work on on his part just i'm just gonna back it up back it up <laughs> did nothing we are at two minutes and 45 seconds with no one really in too much pain besides strider and such but other than that absolute excellent just map play just swapping them back and forth absolute back and forth just doing that uh this is where the the firepower of the poltavas are going to hold out and such you're going to see that situation where it that's what's going to win you but of course you have to have that map play which of course right here got black queen taking a torp from that and a few bombers but not getting any floods or anything like that uh teddy is a bad graphics card right now i'll take any graphics card other than nothing uh as we keep on going once again no one dead at two minutes so we're holding out felipe is definitely trying to hide behind the island trying to be that sneaky sneaky toolbox but with no sneaky toolbox nearby uh a guns just backing up like the father told him so over here, we got Sweet Cheeks just, you know, getting that Issei far back into second tier. You got to keep that that Issei as far back as possible, or you're gonna have problems over there. While you have Strider and yeah, everything moving on there. Now the Bliskavika is pushing a little hard, but it does. This is where it should start to strive, where you have a lot of damage on enemy ships where its alpha actually is just enough. So let's see if this exactly can be a good play. Down over here, Man of War and Seminole are taking some, just a lot of fire from a lot of people. But Felipe just goes down with the Politava, absolutely flipping L4 right there with Issei getting taken down by, uh, with Sweet Cheeks getting taken down. And of course, but we still have two caps. They've got about a 70% in uh, high up in the agent and just absolutely just being a tank over there. Just They're just doing their job and such. But, oh, Solaris and the Shores just took a massive hit from the Poltava. Oh, man, 38 seconds left. Is there a way to pull this back? There's a lot of damage here. We got Black Queen taking a good amount of damage. We got a uh, pull out of that situation with lit see with a lot of focus fire black queens taking it But of course retaking that cap getting that cap play L4 probably was la uh, watching the last map 1080 going down in the Jervis 
And I believe that is it. L4 against Yoho. Absolutely just straight up in Chavo. Just dodging dorps at the end. But Whirly Gig getting taken down by Poltava. That was showing the power of the Poltava. L4 using their firepower and using that just, just hold back. Just sitting back. Don't, you don't need to push it. Sometimes it's just about using what you have and making sure your advantages stay hot. That was a damn good thing. Oh, Seminole, I already did. I already did. Don't worry, I took care of that. <laughs> <laughs> so it make, make sure everyone knows Seaman Hole. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you pronounce his name, Seaman Hole. <laughs> so I, I think that was a great play, uh, Pig Bay. How are you feeling on that one? Well, L4 definitely held on to those two caps, and honestly, for the majority of that time, you know, they did get flip flop back and forth. But I think Yoko took their sweet time uh, getting back into B. Uh, they really needed to contest that cap a little harder. Um, like their other games, you know, capping wins. That's not much to say for that, honestly. Yep. You know, I think I think they watched what Yoho was doing and did it better, along with keeping that firepower at range, which once again L4 absolutely has shown. They've got expert snipers on their team, and having them all in Poltavas, as much as they might be risky to run basically all Poltavas with just all firepower and no utility, absolutely can kill it. They can if they have that in the right hands. Yeah. Um that's the thing too, you know. They, they keep trying to make this Ise work, and it's uh, I'm not seeing it work right now. Not in these caps, not in these multi-cap maps. Oh. No, but we do it's, have then, uh, we do have a map coming up, Cage Epicenter, where the Ise might come in clutch. So let's see. Okay, let's see how that one goes up. Yeah, definitely agree though. Ise, you got to play it right when it makes sense. So. But we are seeing a Bliska Vika come in there into into that situation. We're still not in game. Just want to play a pig bay. So we're still waiting out for some. Uh, it seems to be some swaps that are happening with Epicenter or some people who are disconnected. Okay. You know, and this is a fun game. That I keep thinking about is that Florida. I mean, it has like about maybe five k less HP than a Poltava. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I would just rather have a Poltava on that point. At that point, at like honestly. You, you say that, but the alpha damage at close range, especially like where you're getting to the point where maybe a Ganize now makes sense, the Florida just will wall up the Poltava. But you have to get it to those ranges, and when a team exactly. like L4 pulls back enough, you're never going to get to those ranges. Yeah, they're not going to so, let you. Exactly. They'll hammer yeah, that's you what... all the way in. <laughs> yep. They will make you regret everything. So... But we do have Cage Epicenter, which uh, is by far the best Epicenter map for Cage. <laughs> cage uh, Center Control can go die in a fire. Um, please, just leave. Uh, and also, chat, uh, let's let's make sure Seminole knows their true name. Just make sure they know. <laughs> Come on, we got to have a little bit of fun. I'm just constantly checking stream quality, too. I'm like, please don't crap. Just like knock on wood. <laughs> Spectre Elite, thank you very much. And unfortunately, I have been missing out on a few Facebook people posting up. Uh, Streamlabs has been having some issues with that, so understand, not my fault. I'm trying, okay? I swear. I'm just doing technology. So let's see. We do have some swap outs, game crashes. Um, ooh, we do have a switch to a Nelson. We saw that earlier where it didn't quite kick it right, but. Let's see. Okay, we're ready. We are full up. We have a 313 once again with Al4 with Yoho down in Team B, absolutely doing an all cruiser setup, but with a Nelson instead of a Florida. 
before the game starts, Pig Bay, what do you think of that? Switch out from a Nelson, but it, it's Epicenter. Huh. Well, with Epicenter, you don't need the speed as much. Yeah. Um, I honestly love the Nelson. It's uh, one of my favorite tier seven, so you know I got a little soft spot for it. Yep. Um, but we'll see if they can synergize with getting fires for the Belfast. You know, the, the Belfast and the Nelson can synergize, and any you know Jervis Blitz, whatever they decide to run. Yep. All right. So we have three Duca Della Breezies with a Belfast with a Nelson pull top and Issei absolutely just coming in. Now, this is definitely going to be a, a battle of the caps with those cruisers because you are going to have the capabilities of the Jervis down below, specifically on l 4 side to absolutely just get into the middle cap and just sit there and just take it without the cruisers seeing while they're absolutely able to see with the Poltava strengths. So the Poltava is obviously are going to pull in. They're going to hold C. They're going to hold the outer cap while you have the rest of the cruisers, or the, the one cruiser and the DDs contest the middle two. While you have these cruisers absolutely just gonna just gonna have to sit in there. But this might be an interesting strat of just trying to take the uh, outer ring and the middle ring with those things. But this is definitely gonna be a slugfest and we're gonna see exactly where those torpedoes start getting sent. Of course, we've got a first little bit from Lit absolutely going towards Solaris, seeing if they poke out right there with Shavo absolutely taking out some spritz with the Bliska Vika, which you want to make sure you keep those torp tubes empty as all get out. Isace with Sweet Child absolutely taking their time. Sit back. But we do have a cap lead with L4 with those DDs as speed. Absolutely taking on that situation. I'm going to try to keep him up with this because, of course, this is a very, very slow game. Solaris is definitely taking a good amount of damage over here, but this is also going to be a very slow this is going to be trading, and this is going to be decisive gameplay, so we're going to see. Now, we're here with the Bliskavika absolutely taking some hits, but doing what they're trying to do best with the Bliskavika is get those torp tubes out and make sure that basically you keep on getting floods on the enemy. Just as long as you can keep the floods going, then you're doing your job. And, of course, the moment you flood someone, they heal, let them on fire. Why not? So over here, we do have Seminole with 1080 moving up with the Nelson on Z-Toy, but Z-Toy is obviously giving them absolutely no chance while the Nelson is hitting triple GGG pretty hard over there with some AP, which is pretty rare for a Nelson's case and such. We do have the middle cap taken by Black Queen. Black Queen's just not giving a crap, especially with, the, with having even one DD, you could at least contest the middle just a little bit but because they're all cruisers they're not gonna be able to so basically yoho is gonna have to constantly keep a cap but l4 is just constantly keeping caps in that situation oh man all three caps on l4 because of those there's some oh man but but <laughs> Oh, Seminole's going down with 1080 with the Nelson absolutely pushing forward. But let's see if those torp tubes go in. Let's just quickly check in before those torp tubes hit Strider. Nope, they're doing fine over there. While 1080, the Nelson, if you're just sitting there, it's speed. It just shows and absolutely is getting just taken right there. You take most of the hits, and 1080 is now going to be focused by all of the ships with this being a very good team. Worldly Gigs moving in, trying to give a, a diversion, a tactic, but at this level of gameplay, just burn that sucker down. And Z Toy is just having fun, just shooting the beginning of that. Over here, we definitely do have a slugfest with Strider taking a good hit from Pol from Aegon and Felipe and the Poltavas over there with one or 1080 going down from Triple GGG, showing off once again the fire of the pile Tava. And the, the, the play of DDs here, that as much as the Issei has been giving them information, they weren't able to shut them down. And they've just been able to sit the first, you know, the middle or the uh, center and the middle cap. Absolutely doing a great job. And the DDs have been shutting down the cruisers while the Poltavas have been shutting down the cruisers as well. So that 4-3 that setup is not exactly working out as what they thought they should and such. Let's keep on moving on don't make me come and ban some of you i swear to god i will 
Uh, next thing, we have Man of War in the Duca just making a last ditch effort, just trying to do as much damage, but Felipe just. Oh, Solaris left over, triple cap. We are at 780 to 90. Oh, man. With an Issei and a Duca left, with Duca having no health. Let's just. Duca going down. Let's watch Sweet Cheeks. Let's see if Sweet Cheeks can take out Z Toy at the very least to prevent an overwhelming victory. But the points are not going to matter, so we have an overwhelming victory in the finals. Oh. Oh, Pig Bay, what are you thinking? <laughs> well, before the overwhelming victory, the, you know, obviously L4 <laughs> just played it better. But yep. with having those DDs, I mean, you're able to run in, get the center cap, and then at that point, you could just leave the center cap because you're going to spot any one of those cruisers from going in. You're going to spot them going into the middle, so you're you you could just focus fire them at that point, you know? So, yeah. And the pull top of the firepower you, is just showing it. Exactly. Oh. Like I said. And the thing with having at least one DD, you know, it's going to tie up one of the enemy's DDs because you're going to have to either hot swap that middle cap or whatnot. You, there's always going to be a threat of the DD at the middle. So basically what was happening here is they didn't have that threat so they can take the cap and then go into the middle ring and just sit there and continuously hold that one because they were never going to get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that was definitely some good plays with that situation. It's just it's that Issei. Like it, it's it's a liability on certain games because that pull top like having a pull top or even a Florida would have been better. Or even a West Virginia would have been better in certain situations, being able to shut down stuff. Yeah. Oh, West Virginia is oh, it's a good pick. It's slow, yeah. but I like it. It, it's very it slow, but it's, it's tanky. It's tanky and it mm -hmm. hits hard. And that's exactly what you want out of it sometimes. So, man. Yeah, so I'm going to soak the damage up. Yep, exactly. And especially, like, I'm surprised there hasn't been, like, a West Virginia with an Issei back. You know, just kind of have that, like, just, just be there while the Issei just constantly spots and starts fires. I could definitely see that being a good pick. But at the same time, that's still, that's, that's holding two battleships in your strategy and that's that's a tough pick yeah oh well let's see what yoho's gonna come up with yep we got a swap yeah, of sides real quick now. yep we got a swap going around yep someone said got stomped yeah i mean yep. are they lying though <laughs> No, with a thousand and ninety, that's that that showed that it was like as much as Isai can give you information. If you don't capitalize on the information, what's there to do? So, yeah. So we got a swap of sides over here with Yoho going on team A now versus team B. We are waiting for some more uh, acceptance, I guess. Do, do, do. Ready? Let's see. Hopefully streams are going very well once again. Shout out to Pig Bay who is helping me do a little debriefs after keeping everything sane because of course I can't. Uh, there's a lot going on here. He's doing a great job. Give a shout out to Pig Bay in the chat if possible. That'd be great. And then of course uh, my channel here. I do five videos a week of just gameplay videos with one being a review on Thursdays. And of course this week I did two extra because I blame Pig Bay. And also Mikasa gameplay which is just funny to do. <laughs> so. All right, let's see. There we go. We are in. All right, we have a 
once again, 2-2-3 two, two, versus 2-2-3, two, two, but we have the three Poltavas absolutely on l 4 side versus the Florida, the Issei, and the Poltava. Let's see exactly how this works out with the finale here. Let's see how it goes. So, of course, we've got uh, two DDs based on both sides. Pretty much both teams are in the exact same setup here. Let's just kind of swing back so we can see the entire of Yoho's fleet. Over here, Pull My Beer and Seminole are in their Belfast along with an Issei pushing over 1080 over to A with a, it looks to be a Foltava backup if I can remember right. And then of course we got Shevo, Poltava, Belfast, and another Poltava going towards A on the other side. While we have over here, we got Black Queen in the Shores. We got Jervis with Lit Sludo, and we've got Agent in the Poltava. Absolutely just coasting you know, it just kind of having a good time just having a good cruise just having a really slow time well let's actually sorry instead of doing the moles let's kind of let's get playing all right so of course we've got some shots fired on a bunch of jervises and a little bit of the shores over here uh we have absolutely yoho trying to play the caps trying to push on the caps early they've got a and c where l4 has b great job on that point but of course, watch for L4. They're playing the long con. They're not playing the short con. They 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 might give up cap here or there. Sometimes they're gonna take cap from you. Of course, with this information from the Issei, we're gonna see exactly how it goes. But I'm not seeing the Issei bombers. Oh, there you are. There they go. Now they're up again. Of course, Litz moving down towards C. Absolutely contesting on C against. I unfortunately can't see who exactly that is. I feel like it's a whirly gig. Uh, yep, yeah, hold my beers there. So we got Whirly Gig versus Lit over there. Absolutely doing that while well, you have a large amount of torps pushing Whirly Gig out of C. So it looks like they definitely are going to be holding them with Shavo shooting out torps very long range towards Solaris and Man of War. We shall see how that works. But C is getting retaken by L4 up here. We have a large predominant force up at A. Well, we have hold my beer. We've got a Poltava, an Issei, and. Annabelle Fast, yeah, Annabelle Fast, if I can think right. Uh, going against Z-Toy, Triple G, and Felipe. While we do also have Shavo moving up and making sure B is held. Once again, let some of, the, some of these ships absolutely just take the fire. Hold it up there. We're going to see exactly how this plays out because we have overwhelming force pushing on this. We got 1080, absolutely. They're trying to go after Triple G, 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 hitting them hard. Uh, what's kind of interesting is they do have 1080 firing AP out of the guns, where Issei is generally a better fire starter than it is an AP player. But Triple GGG absolutely is just pulling back, tanking. Felipe is pulling away right now, while Z-Toy is going to probably be, in my opinion, the bait at the end if they decide to go with that. While they still have BNC just holding cap. They don't really need to worry about me of Man of War and Solaris absolutely just sitting back, taking damage. But unfortunately, the Florida's firepower against Agen and also Black Queen's firepower just absolutely getting hammered by this. And the amount of fires are probably going to be the death of them with Shavo and Lit absolutely holding B and keeping Whirly Gig on their toes over here, just absolutely holding A. In my opinion, they got to shift some firepower down south as much as they can take down one battleship with Triple GGG. Triple GGG is just like, I'm just backing up, backing up, backing up. Just take it easy. You know, just let me be a firepower while Felipe absolutely is just landing in some shells where they can. They are bunching up, which is where a DD down here lit and Shabo. This would be an epic position for one of the DDs to be right by Z Toy, just being ready with a crap ton of twerps, just to be absolutely to smack them. But of course, down here they're just holding the they're just holding the two caps. They see their advantage and they're managing it. Up here, they can drop those three ships or even just one or two and absolutely just let them win up here while we have Man of War absolutely not Z Toy is going down very quickly that was a damn good firepower hit from that amount of firepower up north that was i was not surprised by that you do have a lot of firepower on that man of war going down down south that leaves solaris and whirly gate and if i was if i was l4 i would absolutely be pulling away most of this firepower you have two on you know basically a four on two versus two on three 
to four, depending on which way hold my beer goes. And up oh, Strider going down on that point. So it's two to one right now, but we still have two to one caps with L4 absolutely holding the caps. They need to bring this firepower. This is way too far. Black Queen has gone way too far down and it's Thirsty and Solaris, which might be a good idea. You know, don't don't quote me once again. I'm not that good of a player compared to these players. Uh, and such agent is definitely helping out where they can with lit and hold my beer just trading shots over here up here felipe is going to be taking a lot of damage but once again it is an isei not able to do as much with a belfast it can do a great amount of damage but it's not going to do an insane amount so let's see how this keeps on going and folds out lit is definitely pulling away from whirly gig and hold my beer trying to do their best over here we got paul tava absolutely going in trying to help out uh lit but i have a feeling lit probably will be going down from some shots in Ooh, not yet not yet we got z solaris absolutely about to go down from black queen if black queen can land the shots not quite yet it looks like lit's gonna be able to get away but agn is without any screen and unless the pole topic can absolutely do this z solaris is going down by a black queen we have an absolute Issei goes down by 1080. We have an absolute flip right here with Aegean absolutely taking on that and such. We've got a middle cap. It's, it's not going to hold. A minute left. 300 difference. And Aegean just knocking hold my beer out of there. Seminal is just by himself. Two to one on caps. Okay. Yeah, that was some quick play. That was some excellent map play pushing people out even though and and also correctly thirsty and I, I was wrong on this black queen's thirst on uh z solaris was an absolute excellent shot on there and it looks like they're it, lit and shavo are just screwing around with torps over here are you guys kidding me they are just playing and absolutely just screwing around while felipe is shooting at seminal up here this is just this is just cruel and unusual punishment now. Oh man, with 10 seconds left, can they finish off Seminole over here? We got some rounds coming in last second over here. Oh, that was some... Oh man. That was cruel at the end, L4, but at the same time, good job. Felipe with 115k, just straight up, just sitting there enjoying himself. GGG, you need to buy Felipe a drink, at least. Jeez, Pigbay, what are you thinking on that? That well, was... <laughs> just like the last match, it came came down to holding those caps, all right? But yep. then they just started playing with their food at the end there. But <laughs> holding the caps is what's going to win you games. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know how many times we can say the same thing over and over again. They did a better job doing that. Um, the Yoho squad was backed off of C. And then from that point on, they, you know, they just, yeah. They could yep. sit there and contest it. They couldn't. Um, yep. Good job, L4. Yep. L4. Good job. Yep, L4 did an excellent job. Set at the end, they played with their food, and they actually did do a thirst, which was I don't I didn't actually think it was needed, but absolutely great job on their end. Oh man, L4 winning it all. Damn good job, damn good yep. games. Three owed, three. -owed. Yep. <laughs>